Hey folks, I see that you send in a lot of questions and I'm here today to answer those for you. Krista asks, is it possible for a 15 year old who just started to dance to learn technique within two to three years? Where would you recommend he or she start? All right, so you're talking about starting and technique and can you dance in two to three years? All right, so the answer is a resounding yes. We all have the ability to dance actually at any age. <laughs> There's no real restrictions except those that you place upon yourself. So, 15, young, 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 you can do whatever you want. Where do you start? The basis for all dance is ballet. And that's why we have implemented these principles of movement in ballet for the fact that it is the basis, this is where all the movement began. This is where the body of technique began for jazz and contemporary dance and many forms of dance. Tap, not so much. Flamenco has its own piece, that Spanish dance. And that's a, it's all folkloric. It started in the folkloric. And, and ballet started, of course, in the courts of France, which was then built upon. So all that to say, in two to three years, okay, so you're 18 years old and you could go and do whatever you like in two to three years. Now, at 15, I would say start with classical ballet, stay with me on the channel and go through all the principles. Do your therapeutic bar so you can loosen up your body. That's the first thing you need to loosen and lengthen all of your joints. And it's only 10 minutes. So do the therapeutic bar. I have that on CherylAle.com. So do that. Also, um, start with ballet and just start without the bar. Start using the principles without the bar because then you'll be able to feel the principles in your body, okay? Um, so let's just start there, Krista, and you can take it from, I've known dancers that have started at 15 years old and they've gone on to ballet companies. So if you're taught properly, okay in the right studio that has a really good ballet base okay and you have to start at beginner do the beginner adult ballet classes and you'll only do that maybe twice a week usually in the first year do once a week okay and if it's part of your high school program and you have a really good adult ballet teacher in the evening you will progress you'll learn the basics and then when you're 16 17 18 you'll get there. Okay, so Z asks, what got you into ballet? So he's asking me, what got me into ballet? Okay, well, I'm glad you asked, Z. Well, it was a disability. Um, I wasn't, I was a little excited about it as a kid because uh, I wanted to perform and I was hyperactive. A, I was driving my mother crazy, <laughs> crazy. There were three kids in our neighborhood. I mean, three in, in our family. And it was my brother, me and my little sister, who was too young to go to ballet, but I was happy about that Kelly, Kelly at home. Anyway, so my brother, of course, was very excited. So we went to the closest studio right up the street. My mother said, okay, and it was right next to 7-Eleven. So we all went in and we had our little tap and jazz and all those things, and it was super fun. But my mom had me in there because I had broken my leg and a hyperactive drove her crazy. Two things, my posture was all messed up. So I it was all fun. And then she said, no, no, this isn't helping your posture. So I went on to a more serious school that had therapeutic ballet, which is hence what I'm representing today. Walked in there and therapeutic ballet was for people that had, um, different body types, right? Just as I talk about all the time on this channel and how to align the body and how everybody has the ability to dance. Well, that's how I got into it because mom wanted me to straighten out my posture because I really, really 
could not stand up straight nor stand still. So it, it quelled both things. So when people say, oh, ADD and you need drugs and you can't sit still and ADHD and all that stuff is usually because you need more activity because the more activity helps your brain. It really does. <laughs> Obviously, I can answer this question for you today. I might have been like, woo, off the screen. So that's part of the story. And if you want to know all the story, this is my book, my book, The Spark, The Legacy That Changed the Dance World. And in this, you get the whole story of why, where, how this all began and how it has helped thousands of teachers and dancers in the world. And you know, it's not very long. It's only a hundred pages and it's super fun to read and you'll really get a real good idea about what the dance world is about and how you can get involved. So thanks for the question, Z. Okay, so Z asks, what is your favorite ballet move? Love it, Z, you're giving me direct questions. Love that. I love talking about me. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, my favorite ballet move, always have loved to turn, turn, turn. I love to balance. I'm sure you've watched me balance. Love to balance in any position. Love balancing. Why? Because it makes me feel strong. Also, and in turning, turning is fun because who doesn't love spinning, Z? Who don't love some spinning? So that's it. Those are the two things I love. Thanks for the question. I hope that helped you. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and put your comments below and I'll see you next time.